Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Alberta, Canada, with the frauditor known as Alberta Rights Media. And I've dealt with this guy once before. I mean, he's a real, well, jackass, to say the least. And he finds himself in a situation where he just has to mouth off to the cops. And, well, he doesn't want to cooperate until the handcuffs come out. And then he sings a different tune. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Look at these lights just shining in my face, man. You want to roll down your window, sir? No, nah, I can hear you. What's up? Okay, well, Constable Lang with Calgary Police, the reason why we're stopping you is because the vehicle's registered to a female and you're obviously a male, so can I see your driver's license? Nah, man, it's not. Is the report is stolen? Can I see your driver's no, license? No, no, no. No, no, you don't run things here. You work for me until I break the law, mister. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> uh, sorry, dude, but they don't work for you. You don't give them orders. Uh, your name is not on their paycheck. Uh, you haven't hired them. You sure as hell don't know how to do their job. So, yeah, you're not exactly their boss. You're more like a little chihuahua thinking that they're the big dog in town when, well, they're actually small potatoes to begin with. Well, I'm going to ask you again. Is the car reported stolen? No, but I'll okay, well, then there's no uh, reasonable or articulable suspicion. Actually, let me, let me explain something to you, sir. Because the vehicle's registered to a female... It doesn't matter. Can I speak, or...? Well, you can you're say whatever, you can cop-splain all you want, but... You're a male, which means you need to identify yourself under the Traffic Safety Act, or no, I don't. arrest you. Yeah, okay, then you can arrest me, because I've done nothing wrong. Go ahead and step out of the car, unlock the car. What's your name and badge number? Call a sergeant unlock right now. Door. I'm not unlocking my door, what are you talking about? Unlock Call a door. sergeant. Call a sergeant, I haven't done anything wrong. Unlock the door. What crime have I committed? Under the TSA, you need to identify yourself. And you're if I'm suspected of a crime. Nope. Yes, it is. Nope. I know the law. Dude, what is so damn hard about showing your ID? All you have to do is show it to them, and uh, you'll most likely be on your way without any pain or regrets. But no, you are just another damn frauditor who has to push it to the edge, don't you? Unlock the door. We're going to break the window. You're going to break my window for me not doing anything wrong? Unlock the door, All we sir. want is your documents, man. For what? You my documents? Is this Nazi Germany? Uh, dude, if you have to break out the reducio ad hitherum fallacy in this situation, then you have already lost the argument because how can you compare Canada to Nazi Germany? I mean, there is no comparison. What's is this Nazi Germany? No, this is not Nazi You guys are Germany. live on YouTube. Okay, you're live on YouTube, hey, just so you know. If you're Perfect. If you're going to produce your ID, then what's your name? I can produce my ID, but I haven't done anything wrong. That's what I'm trying to... I'm trying to talk to you, but this guy's escalating it. Do you understand what he's asking? He's saying he's going to break my window because I've done nothing wrong because uh, this, is, this car is registered, he's saying, to a female. So what? So we're allowed doing a check on documents because it's not registered. Okay, call the female it's registered to then. I'm not going to help you with your so investigation. We need, so we need to ID you to see who you are. What is that? How is me? Okay, if the car is registered to a female, right? So how is that going to... How is my license or my ID going to tell you who I am? Like, how is that going to help the situation? The traffic Safety Act, you have to identify yourself. If I'm lawfully pulled over. I've already been to court for this. You so you, you're you going to lose your badge. What's your name and badge number? I'm not worried about it. I've already got Perfect. Okay. To no, you didn't. S. Lajin. Yep. You got S. Lajin is a name? tyrant, What's thug. Oh, you won this kind of court case. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing that I do to every frauditor out there who makes a statement like that. Citation needed, please, because I really don't believe you're lying, sorry ass. My name, I'll give you my first name. Sure. Okay. What? Look at him put on his gloves. I haven't done anything what's, wrong. What's this is how you guys treat the public. I'm I've done you, nothing wrong. I'm giving you another chance here. Another I'm chance? He's putting on his gloves to intimidate me. Look what's, at this. What's your name? My name is Dwight. Dwight? D-W-I-G-H-T? Yeah. What's your last name, Dwight? 
Sir, I don't. I'm asking why are you doing this to me? I haven't committed we a crime. We've explained it multiple So you guys are gonna okay under duress. Under duress, I'm gonna give you my last name under duress because he's threatening me, putting on gloves. Yes, he is putting on gloves, threatening me, telling me he's gonna break my window. This cupcake right here said he's gonna break my window. So what's your last name? Domino. Spell it for me, please. Just like Domino's. Okay, Domino. What's your date of birth, man? But what, I don't understand why you're putting me in the system. I haven't done anything wrong. Are you 30, roughly? Yeah, but I haven't done anything wrong, so 30? why are you putting me in the system? Right. Once again, I've got to ask this frauditor, and I asked him the last time I did a video of his, what is the big freaking deal about showing your license? I mean, you could have gotten out of that other situation without any argument, and you could have gotten with, out of this situation without causing a major world-ending disturbance, but you had to do things the hard way, and now you're kind of changing your tune on that. I guess you don't want to go to visit Bubba and the boys in jail, do you? Shut up! You didn't explain no. nothing! You said you're going to break my window because the vehicle is registered to a woman. To identify yourself under the traffic safety act. Yeah, if I'm lawfully pulled over, I understand that. I'm not pulled over, I'm parked! My car is off, I am parked! I am parked! I have dash cam in the front and the back of my car. I have dash cam, you loser. You're a tyrant. You're shitty at your job. That's why you'll never have stripes. Yeah, okay, cupcake. Actually... That's not how stripes work. Okay, cupcake. Whatever you want to say. You're not for the people. You're for profit. You're a loser. Okay. Look at you. You're a you're a straight up loser. Look at that. Tyrant comes over here yeah. and tries to bully me into my ID because he thinks he's in Nazi Germany. Yeah. Look at this racist no, cop. Not Nazi Germany here in Canada. Yeah, look at this racist, racist cop, eh? Canada. Shut up, you racist. You're a racist. Profiling me. I'm gonna watch the complaint I make on you, bro. Don't worry about it. Okay, it's, it is fine. Oh boy, he brings out the race card. One of the last ditch efforts of a mindless buffoon right there who has lost all the arguments. Well, dude, it was your own damn fault. Perhaps you should get a little bit more educated and uh, learn better arguments. Maybe next time you'll actually win. A little longer than a few minutes later. But wait for my daughter to get here and then get harassed by the police. You ready for me to talk here? Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you for your documents. Everything checks out. And oh, you didn't yes. have reasonable cause for anything. Here's your registration, your insurance. Can I please have my ID back? Because last time they didn't give it back to me. Enjoy the rest of your day. I appreciate the time and our... Okay, you're dismissed now. Get out of here. Get back to work, loser. Well, in the world, you have good examples of uh, how to act. And you have terrible examples of how to interact with people. And, uh, well, this dude, Alberta Rights Canada, or whatever his name is, uh, yeah, one of the worst examples of a human being that can possibly be. I mean, if you ha actually have a job and you talk to people like this at work, kind of makes me wonder how you're employed to begin with. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?